right just got this die presser for uh the 3.5 liter honda engine i got with a vcm that's all uh hiccupy and jolty when it's kicking in and dropping off and whatever whenever you hit the gas or let go of the gas so i'm going to try this to suppress the vcm and before i connect it i'm gonna check out if uh it matches up to the um 82 ohms that it comes set to so had uh had it connected to itself and just had to push the little tab on uh, each one of these and pull it apart. So, I'm gonna check this out. I don't know how I'm gonna hold the camera for this though. All right, so I had to take one of the connectors and get a little piece of wire in there so that I could uh, <clears throat> get one of get one of my connectors on there because I don't have the right kind of connections and then through the other uh, the other side onto one of the pins here trying to hold it in the right place Oh, there it hit 82 for a second. All right, so it was at 82, 81.5. That seems pretty good. All right, so that should be good. Um, I'll double check that the other side doesn't have any resistance. All right, here goes checking the other side. Steady. When it settles on one, right around one, that's where I'm thinking it's at. So that's why I got good contact right there. Alright, it's right down there below one. Whenever I get good contact. Alright, I'm going to see if I can get this thing hooked up since it's measuring out to be correct. Alright, well here I am on this uh, Honda 3.5 VCM engine. And uh, I see these videos where they take the cover off and I think that... Uh, connector is just this little guy down in here so I'm gonna try to just pop that off since I already got to practice on the connectors I'm holding in my hand uh, I couldn't get my hand in there at the right angle to get enough leverage on that little part to pull it off push the pin, push the lever and pull it off there so I'm gonna take the cover off it's got these little uh, flathead screws right here I guess just at the front so pop those off those just turn 90 degrees and unlock and then you can pull it off all right I uh, turned those 90 degrees and wiggled it a bit it's got this one little uh, piece here that had to kind of pop out of that all right, so let's see, there it is. I'm gonna try again. All right, it popped off. So I'm gonna take my VCM connector here and hook it up. But I can't hold the camera, so here it goes. All right, well, plugged it in, 
and uh, it just kind of settles in there and I think this is a uh, heat resistant sheathing on here so next step will be try driving it and pray <laughs> that it works good and doesn't work against anything and mess anything up should be all good everybody says these things work good Gonna pop this cover back on here get that uh get that part lined up there Alright, yeah, that part that was right about here snapped in there and pretty easily. Didn't have to force it or nothing. So, you know, try to hold the camera and just pop these things back in. Well, I gotta wiggle this one a bit. It's on there good. Close that. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna take it for a test drive and see if uh, it kicks into eco mode and still jumps around and hiccups and does stuff like that. But right now the engine's cold right there. So I've heard also that it takes a bit to warm up. So I'm gonna drive it and see. Okay, so far, um, just driving it, still cold. See the temperature down there is still cold. But usually it would already start kicking into some sort of eco mode on. All right, temperature is still cold down there. And um, usually by now, if I was letting off the gas like I am now, it would already be kind of feeling like it's clumsily downshifting so I'm gonna drive it accelerating right now accelerating that's usually not a problem alright so here engine's still cold a bit but I'm about to let off the gas and it usually would be all clumsy and downshift and I just let off the gas and it didn't do that so that's pretty nice so far it's it's not going into eco mode usually you'd see a little eco light right here ECO and that's when uh, you would feel it clumsy downshifting or something when actually the VCM is dropping it from six cylinders down to four or three or whatever it is. But this muzzler is already working, even though the engine temp is is still closer to uh, to cold over here. It's already it's already making it smoother. That's awesome. All right, well. Still just cruising along and it's totally smooth. And if the RPMs start to fall, no eco light pops on or nothing. It's just smooth, a smooth deceleration. And then when I go to increase the RPM, hit the gas again, there's no jump or kick or anything. It's just a smooth acceleration. So putting on this die presser VCM muzzler has all of a sudden stopped this thing from from uh, shuddering and kicking and dropping off like it's all clumsy and all of a sudden this $30 little part uh, makes this thing run smoothly for the first time since I've had it in four years that's awesome you know, ever since I got this car a few years ago, I was really 
wondering why does this thing always feel so clunky like it's downshifting or, or kicking into an upper gear whenever you let off the gas or hit the gas and I thought it was the transmission you know because I didn't know much about the vehicle and now I realize all of that is that VCM kicking on and off different numbers of cylinders to, you know, be more, ec like, fuel economical, but the whole time it felt like, man, what the hell is wrong with this car? This damn thing is, is jumping and kicking and, sh you know, it doesn't feel right, doesn't feel good. All along it was just this dang VCM thing and I had read about VCM muzzlers and not thought much about it at first but I ran into it a couple more times and finally realized uh, it was worth listening to and then I found some that were 90 bucks that I was about to get and then I looked at the $70 ones and those didn't look as sturdy and then I decided to go on eBay and just search, sort it from lowest to highest price, and here's one for 30 bucks. And it looks sturdy, and I read up on it, and the thing seems to, you know, make sense. So hopefully it keeps working this well. Because uh, they say it on the forums all the time, wow, whole new vehicle. And yeah, it is It is like a whole new vehicle. You let go of the accelerator, there's no drop off, you know. It used to be like, ugh. And then if you hit the gas again, it'd be, ugh, another jolt. And people say that that same jolting, is, you know, it messes up, uh, your engine mounts on one side of the engine and also leads to oil consumption which I started seeing within the last year where it's taken up you know it's taken a quart of oil between 3,000 mile changes and then uh, people also say that um, it'll make your spark plugs foul up too you know adds a bunch of extra oil into the cylinders that doesn't get burned off or something and yeah so hopefully it keeps on working really nicely like it is right now and it's worth it 30 bucks